Welcome to the public hearing tonight of the Deerfield Capital Improvements Plan Committee five-year plan public hearing. The select board is now in session and this is June 6, 2016. I almost forgot the year. It's not awful. Anyway, okay, John, you may call the Capital Improvements <coughs> Committee to... Uh, the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, we have a quorum. So I call the committee to order. Okay, great. Would you like to present the list? Um, the, whole of, list the whole plan? Yes, the whole plan. Step up to the mic so you can do that so they can hear you. For, for year 2017, this is not, um, this is what we're voting tonight, and every, does everyone have the five-year plan? There are, a couple of, there are copies available. There are copies the here. Yep. Um, and so, John, could you talk about uh, the 2017 plan in detail, and then you can just broadly address uh, 2018, 19, 20, and 21. Okay, the fiscal year 2017 plan was already presented at the regular t annual town meeting and with the most of it was deferred because there was not a five-year plan presented at that before then as required by the town bylaws. So now we put together the five-year plan and the fiscal year 2017 expenditures for the most part will be voted on at the special town meeting starting at seven o'clock. Uh, the first three items relate to the school roof, which was voted on in January, I believe. So that's behind us. Um, the police department requested 11 defibrillators at approximately, uh, well, total of $19,000. Uh, the ones they have now are, they have a 10 year life, and I believe these are, I don't know, they quit 17 years old, maybe, I think, if memory serves me correct. We voted on, on all this stuff back in January, December and January, so. I have to refresh my memory in a lot of this. Um, public where the highway department's looking for Ford F F550 with a dump body for $80,000 and a JD2555 tractor for 72,000. The South County skims uh, they have a program where I believe they're going to replace an ambulance every five years for 285000 This particular ambulance, I think, is 17 years old. Um, so that's the total cost of 285000 136800 of that will be funded by Waitley and Sunderland. Uh, the senior center requested that we replace the floor, that the floor, not we, that we replace the floor in the bingo hall. Uh, there's tiles coming up. There's, there's some asbestos tiles there, so we're not really going to replace it. We're going to encapsulate it for $7,000. Uh, the 10,000 sewer rate study was previously approved last winter at a special town meeting, I guess, in January. The 130,000 engineering for the headworks was approved at the annual town meeting in June. Tilton Library is looking for a carpet replacement of 13,000. Uh, they wanted a couple of mini splits for 15,500. And a photocopier, instead of leasing it, they can buy one for $2,099, and everybody thought that that was a good deal. Uh, the town hall fire detection system for $2,500, it will be able to talk to, Doug, correct me if I'm wrong, be able to talk to third parties instead of just ringing a gong outside the building. Uh, there's two doors in this building that are just about falling off the hinges that need to be replaced for $5,500. 
and the building needs to be rekeyed um, for sixty-five hundred dollars. So that's for fiscal year 2017. It's either already been appropriated, or it will be voted on later this evening. For the next four years, um, we went to the department heads and said, what do you think you will need over the next four years? And this is what we received. We have no way of knowing how much money we're gonna have available to spend. So we really can't plan what we're gonna spend, but here's what the department heads think they're gonna need. That's the best we could do. Um, we didn't hear from the school department. Uh, we requested them to send in their needs, and we didn't hear from them. And there's a library project, I think that everybody's aware, but we didn't get the amount of that either, so. Um, so for fiscal year 2018, department heads feel they're gonna need $142,960 worth of items. Fiscal year 2019, $129,540. Fiscal year 2020, $496,840. And 2021, $75,340. There were some sewer items that came up, but we just, we didn't feel that at this point that we could discuss them. Um, oh, I wanna, uh, the ambulance in those, for those four years, there's $57,000 uh, in the plan for ambulance replacement. Yeah. And that's, that's the total cost. Deerfield's share will be approximately 50% of it. So, um, any questions, I guess? that. Next. Um, I just, before we answer any questions, I just want to thank John. Um, the committee had made a commitment to meet on May 25th and work through this through the summer so we would have uh, a valid plan for the fall to start our cycle in the so fall. And as you know, in the town meeting, um, since we didn't have a public hearing of an updated plan, um, we had to put this off for a special town meeting and John put, met with department heads and put a tremendous amount of time to come up with a um, updated, much more accurate plan. The plan we had was very outdated and um, not real. So this, this is the closest we have right now, um, and I just want to thank John for a tremendous amount of work. I really appreciate it, well, John. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any questions? Skip. For the, fiscal years 2018 on, that's true. No, we're not recommending. We're, we're just trying to pick up everything that everybody thinks might be um, needed. Um, so it's on our radar. Uh, we were a little disappointed that nothing came in from the schools because, you know, obviously that has impact ultimately. But um, both John and I tried to, and I think even Trevor tried to um, contact the schools and. I have. I have talked to a couple people at the school, like Charlie Cornish in the, in the uh, he's gonna email, my, email us, so I'm hoping we can maybe add as the summer goes along, but yeah. just for vision. We'll obviously start to cycle in the fall earlier, a little bit earlier, so that we can have plenty of time to review. Um, even though next, next year doesn't look like um, too much of a big year, we don't really know how the sewer issues are gonna work out. When in the fall, fiscal year 2018, we'll go to the department heads and said, what do you want to vote on for fiscal year 2018? Then the committee will sit and actually deliberate whether we feel it's a worthwhile expenditure or not. John, did you have any questions? John, it's fiscal 219, and um, we have not even discussed it as a community. So, That's I mean, as a committee. Sure people understand. Yeah. You already got three ambulances. 
they're not running that department efficiently. You've got the director sitting in this office in here. Meanwhile, he wants a truck so he can run over to the fire department. Put him in a fire department where he belongs. Uh, John, it's a space issue, and we will That's be... basic organizational skill. I know. We you are... You don't believe right or we understand. You don't put the boss over in a separate building somewhere and hide him, and then have to buy a $42,000 vehicle just so you can transport him over so you can add more time to your response. I uh, totally agree with you, and we are trying to get all the ambulance people in one place. Um, I want to talk are we going to approve this plan tonight? Um, we are, will be voting on t fiscal 2017. So the public hearing is just a requirement of the bylaw. There is no vote. But it's a five-year plan we're approving or just one year? Just one year. One. We, we had to have a five-year plan and a public hearing of a five-year plan. The five-year plan that we had was it's pretty bogus. I mean, we could have had a public hearing on it, but... I think, you know, I thought everyone had agreed that we w were, it, it was useless to go through the process of a public hearing on a plan that was not up to date. And so we had intended to meet on August, I mean, uh, May 25th, and um, obviously because of, uh, at the public, I mean, at our annual town meeting, people wanted us to adhere to the bylaws, so we had to set up a um, public hearing and, and, and have a current plan. And so John did all this extra work so that on May 25th, we actually just reviewed the five-year plan and, ha and updated it. And so we were able to present this tonight based on John's work. But what is, what is the town meeting going to be asked to accept? The five-year plan? Or the no, first no, plan? just 2017. Okay. That we had presented at the annual town meeting and that we were going to vote on the annual town meeting. But since we did not have a public hearing, which was my fault, and I will take responsibility, this is nothing, this is not John's fault. Um, since we did not have a public hearing, we couldn't vote 2017. So we are now tonight voting 2017. Okay, but what I just want to establish, Carol, that we're not approving a five year plan. No, that no. Includes, Correct. Includes something like John had just previously mentioned takes an awful lot of discussion and I don't want to sit here and prove something and have it said a year from now well that was part of the five year plan and it's been approved okay there's, there's nothing no to there's no, there's vote. no vote there's the committee the, the committee the solicited the information so we could get on our radar anything that the department heads felt was necessary to the operation of our town but it has nothing to do with any approval uh, process. The committee will sit starting in the fall, late fall, early winter, and present to the select board as part of the budget process a recommended plan for fiscal 2018. Yeah. Perhaps the word plan is not the best. I know. Maybe we could come up with another plan. It's yeah. more like an estimate of what department heads thought they might need. Or a projection. Or a projection a of, or, yeah. Draft yeah, projection. A draft I, projection. I, it's, right. it's, it's, not, wanted, it's not really a plan. We approved it tonight after a public hearing. We no. It. There's no vote. No. There's no vote tonight. It's, it's, just, okay. it's just to let people know about it. So if everyone is comfortable, we can close the hearing. Yes, Bruce. Um, if this is a five-year plan, will we include any um, well, as an example, the library that's on that plan. That's we don't have the library, we have no library estimate. John tried to get an estimate, and but we don't know if it really isn't accurate. no, it's not accurate because the library school. isn't on it, and there's no school stuff. Right. And we don't really know where the library is going to fall in this because it's a eight to ten year process. Kind so so Correct. it's a kind of five-year plan. What we know so far. <laughs> yes, the best we can do. But John put a tremendous amount of work in it to be more accurate than what we had had previously. Well, Jeff. Can we just call this a preliminary? I mean, besides FY uh, 2017, 
everything beyond that is just a preliminary Correct. working we're, we're hearing so everybody understands that nobody's committing to it it's not finalized but it is a preliminary to give some direction to for the entire time. we're hearing Yes, we're exactly hearing to right. the bylaw, and actually the um, Capital Improvement Committee will be suggesting a revision to the bylaw so that people understand that this is not, you know, set in stone. This is a preliminary projection that we're talking about, yep. and we're trying to do the best we can so people can be aware. I mean, that's the whole purpose of this, is to be aware of what we have costs coming down the line. So um, that's where we're at. Um, the other question I have is, does this include any replacement of the sewer mains, drainage lines? No. As you can see, we bumped out the sewer stuff because the sewer committee, we felt as a committee, and, and again, I will take responsibility for this, but I felt that I wanted to have <coughs> the sewer committee to get together and actually give us, the committee, a recommendation because I felt like the, the numbers out there, $32 million in total, is just mind-blowing. Uh, right. Well, just everything. So we need the sewer committee to give feedback to the capital improvement committee uh, and see where any of the sewer expenses fit into this. And that will be based on the committee getting together and working on something for us. Okay? Yes, Skip. I think you should table this until you get a lot more information. I mean, everything right now is so vague and everything. And We're adhering to the bylaw. This is part of the bylaw process, and it is vague, uh, and we will be changing. One of the recommendations of our committee will be to change this process because it's a misnomer in the sense because you, you can't, we don't have enough information. Carolyn? Yes. Do, do we have updated figures for the, the roof? I assume the bids are in and have been accepted at this point. Um, Doug, do we have um, the correct bid number? The bids for the school roof did come in. Uh, I believe it's MDM Engineering is the company that received, uh, submitted the most positive and lowest bid. The amount that they submitted was roughly $1.5 million for complete construction. That's down below the original estimate of 2.3 million. I'm using very round numbers. Okay, so approximately 1.5 million, that's the, the total. The 1.5 million is the total for the construction alone. That does not include the five or $600,000 of additional costs uh, coming from the OPM, the clerk of the works, the design, so on and so forth. So if it, that holds true. It's going to be the 2 million range. If, well, if that holds true, yeah, I'm, we're probably looking at 2.1 or 2.2 million final overall cost, if we're lucky. We're, th this is as voted at the January meeting. That's what I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, um, like I said, it was not reflective of the bidding. Okay. If, if there's no further questions, we're going to close the hearing. So um, we will open the special town meeting at 7 o'clock. So thank you. Make sure everyone's checked in. Oh, John, I'm sorry. A motion the Capital Improvement Planning Committee adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Select board stands at recess? Yes, until 7 o'clock. Thank you.